Morning, everybody. I uh, want to go ahead and call uh, today's meeting to order. This is the January 20th, 2015 school land board meeting. Uh, the first item on our agenda is the approval of the minutes from the December 9th, 2014 school land board meeting. I was not the active land commissioner at the time, uh, so my two colleagues will have to um, make a motion and a second for uh, the motion to pass. Move, move to approve. Second. Motion is made, seconded, and carried unanimously to approve the minutes. Next item on the agenda is the opening consideration act action on bids received for the January 20th, 2015 oil, gas, and other minerals lease sale. I will hand off the keys. Mr. Adams? And of course, I want to thank all of our guests uh, that have joined and participating in our, in our bid, bidding process. Uh, next item on the agenda is a report from Jerry C. Dubree, who's a trustee and will be presenting a check to the school land board for deposit of the permanent school fund, representing the state's interest in production from the DCRC State Trust in Duval County, Texas. Good morning, Commissioner, members of the board. I'm, uh, I'm Jerry Dubree, trustee of the of the state trust. Um, as a uh, trustee, we, I operate or we operate uh, some 70 something wells on the Duval County Ranch that uh, the state has a working interest in that is in, in trust. And uh, uh, as most other members of industry, we've suffered a bit from price decline this year and from the high prices that have been brought on uh, by third party vendors. So uh, our check is uh, uh, reduced somewhat. We are bringing you a check for $500,000. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to continue to do that uh, uh, for the coming year. Uh, that brings the total amount contributed to the, uh, uh, by the trust to the uh, permanent uh, school fund of $19,275,000. So it's, uh, it's been a very worthwhile venture for the state. Um, as you know, we continue to drill uh, a well every 90 days as required by the lease, and uh, we've had some success in the past year, and uh, hopefully we'll continue to have some, although it gets harder and harder after uh, some 20-something years of doing this to, to find new locations. But uh, if you have any questions, I'd be glad to uh, entertain those. Otherwise, I'll just give you a check. I can't object to that, Mr. Debris. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is the approval of the consent agenda as posted. Uh, after board members, you've had a chance to review the agenda. Uh, I can go ahead and receive a motion and a second to approve the consent agenda as posted. So moved. Second. Motion is made, seconded, and carried unanimously to approve the consent agenda as posted. Items number five through eight will be held in executive session. So under the school land board, veterans land board rules, we will enter executive session pursuant to chapter 551, subchapter D, Texas government code section 551.071 of the Texas government code for discussion, consideration, possible action regarding pending or contemplated litigation and or settlement offers or to seek or receive attorney advice or counsel related to items five through eight on the docket and subsection 551.072 for the discussion consideration and possible action concerning the purchase, sale, exchange, lease, or value of real property related to items five through eight on the docket. Following the executive session, uh, we will reconvene an open session to complete the docket. The open session of the January 20th, 2015 school land board meeting will resume with item number five. Russell May with Asset Management. Uh, staff is recommending the approval to extend the uh, closing time frame of the sales contract for the disposition of PSF land under the attached terms and exhibits as presented and being in the best interest of the state or the PSF. Are there any questions? So moved. Second. Motion is made, seconded, and carried unanimously to approve item number five. Next item on the agenda is number six as stated. 
Russell May with Asset Management. Uh, staff is recommending the SLB approve the attached 2015 budget associate, associated with the Tenant and Commons development located in Harris County, Texas, under the terms and conditions presented to the board and being in the best interest of the state or the PSF. Are there any questions? I move. Second. Motion is made, seconded, and carried unanimously to approve item number six. Next item on the agenda is number seven. Uh, Russell May again with asset management. Uh, staff is recommending the SLB approve the attached 2015 budget associated with the partnership in Galveston County, Texas, under the terms and conditions as presented to the board and being in the best interest of the state and the PSF. Are there any questions? So moved. Motion is made, seconded, and carried unanimously to approve item number seven. Next item on the agenda is number eight, as stated. Good morning, Commissioner, members, Robert Siddall, Asset Management. A item eight pertains to the sale of four PSF assets by way of an auction in accordance with the terms discussed in the executive session. If there are no further questions, staff recommends the approval of this item as per the terms discussed in the executive session, as being in the best interest of the permanent school fund. So moved. Second. Motion is made, seconded, and carried unanimously to approve item number eight. Uh, before we go back to item number two, uh, I want to invoke my authority to designate Larry Lane as my deputy and chief clerk uh, to uh, administer the remainder of the meeting. I have to attend to official business uh, at the state capitol. Again, I want to thank all of our visitors. Uh, all of our trustees that helped to, to generate significant revenue for the school land board. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Um, according Section 31.015, it's cut off. I'll talk now. Uh, pursuant to Section 31.015, Texas National Resource Code, I'm chairing the meeting as the commissioner's absence. So if he returns, I'll gladly let him do that. But meanwhile, while Robert and his able-bodied crew go through the bids, we'll kind of be in recess here a minute. So, uh, And then when they have some bids to read, we'll all do that. So you're welcome to try our cafeteria out. <laughs> Get a drink of water, do whatever you like for the next several minutes, 15, 20, 25, something like that. We'll call you back. Whatever Daryl gives me the high sign, and we'll be good. All right. I guess with the permission of the board, we'll begin reading the bids in marginal number order. Yes, sir. That'd be great. Thanks, Daryl. Marginal number one, Marathon Oil, EF, LLC, $60,000. Marginal number eight, Quicksilver Resources, Inc., $200,000. Marginal number 22, Jetta Energy Resources 3, LLC, $34,440. Marginal number 36, Ammonite Oil and Gas Corp, $25,099.90. Marginal number 37, Ammonite Oil and Gas Corp, $53,499.60. Marginal number 38, Ammonite Oil and Gas Corp, $52,650. Marginal number 40, Ammonite Oil and Gas Corp, $8,999.97. Marginal number 41, Ammonite Oil and Gas Corp, $5,004. Marginal number 42, Ammonite Oil and Gas Corp, $28,775. Marginal number 43, Ammonite Oil and Gas Corp, $1,575. Marginal number 44, Ammonite Oil and Gas Corp, $1,350. Marginal number 45, Ammonite Oil and Gas Corp, $1,575. Marginal number 47, Ammonite Oil and Gas Corp, $17,500.01. Marginal number 49, Ammonite Oil and Gas Corp, $9,500.04. Marginal number 50, Ammonite Oil and Gas Corp, $3,100. Marginal number 51, Ammonite Oil and Gas Corp, $3,099.96. Marginal number 55, Ammonite Oil and Gas Corp, 
Marginal number 64, Lamar Oil and Gas, Inc., $35,520. Marginal number 69, Lamar Oil and Gas, Inc., $35,520. Marginal number 70, Lamar Oil and Gas, Inc., $35,520. Marginal number 71, Lamar Oil and Gas, Inc., $35,520. Marginal number 72, Lamar Oil and Gas, Inc., $35,520. Marginal number 87, Lamar Oil and Gas, Inc., $51,262.58. Marginal number 96, Chaparral Energy, LLC, $4,000. Marginal number 134, Chaparral Energy, LLC, $8,000. Marginal number 135, Chaparral Energy, LLC, $4,000. Marginal number 145, Magnum Operating LLC, $35,200. Marginal number 146, Magnum Operating LLC, $73,700. Marginal number 156, Corum Production Company, $17,136. Marginal number 159, Square Mile Energy LLC, $227,480. Marginal number 159, Kaler Energy Corp, $224,400. Marginal number 159, MIG Oil Company LP, $93,280. Marginal number 160, Kaler Energy Corp, $224,400. Marginal number 160, MIG Oil Company LP, $70,840. Marginal number 166, Rock Energy Resources, LLC, $108,000. Marginal number 167, Gulf E&P Limited, $72,000. Marginal number 187, White Marlin Oil and Gas Company, LLC, $151,920. Marginal number 190, White Marlin Oil and Gas Company, LLC, $196,560. Marginal number 196, Scott Douglas and McConaco, LLP, $75,600. Marginal number 197, Scott Douglas and McConaco, LLP, $75,600. Marginal number 206, Chaparral L Energy, LLC, $4,000. Marginal number 216, Chaparral Energy, LLC, $4,000. Marginal number 220, JPM, EOC Opal LLC, $302,023.28. Marginal number 221, Marathon Oil EF LLC, $2,400.48. Marginal number 222, MCO Resources Inc., $780. Marginal number 223, Angel and Donahue Oil and Gas Properties Inc., $69,600. Marginal number 224, Ammonite Oil and Gas Corp., $35,525. Marginal number 225, Ammonite Oil and Gas Corp., $24,863. Marginal number 226, Ammonite Oil and Gas Corp., $4,200. Marginal number 228, Ammonite Oil and Gas Corp., $23,394. Marginal number 229, MRC Energy Company, $29,700. Marginal number 230, Ammonite Oil and Gas Corp., $11,577. Marginal number 231, Ammonite Oil and Gas Corp., $23,331. Marginal number 233, Marathon Oil, EF LLC, $40,000. Marginal number 234, Apache Corporation, $5,550. Marginal number 234, Ammonite Oil and Gas Corp., $2,553. Marginal number 238, Ammonite Oil and Gas Corporation, $13,344. And that concludes the reading of the bids. Robert Hatter with Energy Hatter. Resources. Good morning. Staff has reviewed all the bids for permanent school fund lands. Uh, the high, total high bids were $2,225,429.52. 
covering 49 tracks that together uh, cover about 93, almost 9,400 acres with a per acre average bid of $236.76. Uh, the non-school bids were for uh, TDCJ tracks. And the staff's reviewed the bids and recommends the board accept all high bids that meet the minimum. So moved. There will be a motion and a second, uh, accepting staff recommendation. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, no. Passes unanimously. Thank you. Thanks, Robert. One question for you before I adjourn. Would you mind doing a little bit of history for us, for the new commissioner, lay out the quarterly sales and kind of just to give a little bit of where they were, what they were, just so he gets a picture of kind of where it was, where it is, maybe three years. Okay. I yeah, wouldn't I go any provide further. summaries for each sale. That'd be good. Similar to this. That's perfect. That's great. Right, thank you. All right. There being no other business before us, then we will stand adjourned. Thank you all, everybody, for your bids and your time and your uh, work product here. Thank you all.